Hello and welcome to the Army Mouse Prototype Gameplay. In this game, two players are competing 1v1. The game is in progress for some time and it is reaching its conclusion. Player with the green and white tank has Jaguar Caesar and Sir Francis Drake as drivers and Abraham Sir Lincoln as a commander. He has three victory points from continuously controlling the water wheel, the most crucial point located in the center of the map. His opponent controls a yellow and a brown tank. Drivers uh, on this team are Sparotakus and Mussolini, with Gerald Nemo in command. This player has no victory points yet, but a cunning plan to take over the game. In this situation, a yellow tank, Sparotakus, will go first. He starts with gaining an acorn from his commander's passive skill. He rolls and gets plenty of 1 and 2 dice. He uses them to gain 6 move points plus 4 from his base movement statistic. With great mobility, he can do a drive-by, stealing the flag, and keep moving towards his own base to capture it. Jaguarus Caesar in a green tank gets a victory point with the start of his turn by controlling the water mill. Now he has 4 VPs and a chance to get more by destroying enemy tanks. From his base movement and a die, he has 3 move points, which he uses to leave the strategic location without losing control over it. His new position blocks the way to the water mill for the brown tank and, after using a spin die, he has a straight shooting line to the yellow tank. He still lacks the range to put a damage token on Sparrowtacles. Fortunately, Commander Abrahamster comes to the rescue. Using his commander skill, extend his range by 4 and lets landing both shots. Brown tank is Sparrowtacles' ally and is manned by Mussolini. This player's every turn starts with accumulating energy from Gerald Nemo. After the final rolling result is accepted, his opponent uses an action card, a 4-leaf clover. It forces Mussolini to re-roll the shots, but he is really eager to deal damage, so he uses his own action card. A sudden move lets him counter the 4-leaf clover. Now Mussolini can punish his foe, draw a card from two ones, and use the remaining move points to reach a minor strategic location. Seeing an opportunity to finish off wounded enemy, he uses a Vesuvius Eruption skill, but it deals one damage only. Now it is Sir Francis Drake's turn. The green-white player gets another victory point from the water mill. He has five now. A row with three doubles allows Francis Drake to complete a mission from a mission deck. He draws three cards and also gains one more victory point, making it a six total and a plausible win at the beginning of next turn. Francis uses his base movement to reach another strategic location and then uses an action card, Bush Jr. Sparotakus is trying to capture the flag so he puts the forest model on his way, forcing him to go around. The situation looks hopeless for Sparotakus, but he rolls the perfect result. He counts the hexes and move points and first uses his ultimate. It lets him, it lets him go over the impassable terrain. He uses some move points to get close to Jaguar's Caesar and shoots him point blank. This is his last HP, so Sparotakus gets two victory points for destroying a tank. The remaining move points are spent on driving back to the base with opponent's flag. This effort earns him five more victory points, making it seven total this turn and enough to be victorious. So I will begin, I will use my Themistocles to reach to the mill. He has lots of health and lots of range. 
it will be perfect for that task. Let's see what happens. A lot of move. This is great. I don't need a shot. Lots of move. That's great. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And use this two to get a card. There you go. One card for you. Thanks. So I have a nice combo. I've got 10 top pass with 8 life and 4 range. And with Abraham as my commander, I can if improve that stat even more. I will try to get victory points by sitting on the meal. Uh, and we we'll see how it looks. Okay, I will use Sparotacus. It's my brown tank. And I will try to capture this flag. Okay? Uh, okay, my move is four, one, two, three, four, and I will use this movement to increase my movement range. One, two. Uh, I will take one acorn token, uh, and I will exchange these two dice for one action card. Okay. That's all? Yes. I have a different strategy for this game. My both drivers have a movement of 4 points. Uh, so with this mobility my main goal is to capture uh, another player's flags. Okay, now it's my turn. I will use uh, Caesar tank and try to reach this objective. It's not too much move. Oh yeah, great. I have to move, so four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's it. My team is full of aggression. I will try to go forward and shoot everything that gets close. So it's my turn now. I'll draw an acorn and I'll roll the dice before deciding what to do next. I want doubles, so that's a nice start. Please, one. One, please. Yay, there's one. So, I guess I discard those because I've got three doubles. I'll draw three cards. Nice, and well. I've got a victory point, because there's a mission, draw three cards in one turn. So, a victory point for me. And that's the end of my turn. I like my set of heroes, they give me cards, energy and tricks. I'll just use them efficiently and use the cards to my advantage. Second player is going for my flag, I will shoot him, just that. That's one, two and three, that's great, let's see. Happens. Acorn, that's good. And I will stay with that. It's one with my move, uh, two with my move, three with move, uh, got two range, one, two, three with range, and three shots. That will be great. And I will also take one acorn. Who is that? Okay, Sparotacus is in trouble, but I think he can handle. So, I will use my second tank, uh, who is also very fast, uh, to get this flag. Oh. We'll take one acorn. 
more remove, even more remove. Okay, so I take one acorn. Uh, I have four move. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'll use another three. One, two, three. I will change this for action card, and I will use my elephant mechanics uh, action card to remove up to three points of damage from any time. The cost is two acorns. So I will basically heal Sparrow uh, Pacus. And I'm on the strategic location. Okay, it's end of my turn. Okay, I will try to shoot this Corsatio Nelson. Yeah, perfect, two shots. I've got range of three to move. Okay, so I just use these shots to take an action card. That's all. So, for my turn, I need to eliminate Caesar, who is in that tank. So. I'll begin it with an icon. And now we get to roll. Mm, that will do fine for moving, but I need some shots. One shot. And more. Oh, three shots. That's very good. So now I have to move. I'll do one. Two, three, four, five, and six. And now I've got three shots, but to destroy the tank, I'll need to use a card. But to use a card, I'll need some energy. So I've got an inner inner weight card. I'm gonna draw two acorns, and now spend three acorns to use a power bank card. Power bank deals four damage instead of one shoot the tank. So that's one damage boosted by power bank, it will be four damage, five and six damage dealt to that tank. Oh no, I have one health left. Also now, I think I'll have one of your cards, because my ab ability says draw a card from each player's hand. So gentlemen, I think I'll have your cards. Come on, come on. Okay. Thanks. That will be all. Thanks for watching.